Hello everyone, so this is going to be the solution to fixing the compiler errors with the alloy shaders in Unity 2018. Uh, more specifically, I am working in Unity 2018.2 and I am going to import in the package for the latest alloy physical shader framework. Um, so conveniently it brings in the alloy folder and the uh, this studio or developer just brings in the packages that you might want to extract and that's really convenient we're going to want to extract extract the 430 shaders and editor core bring them in and um, as soon as they import in we'll notice that we now have compiler errors and there are just a few this is pretty easy to resolve um, so what had happened is, is this code for these sh alloy shaders is now broken because it's referencing a, a deprecated functionality for supporting substance designer materials and procedural textures and stuff like that. Unity, uh, back in the day and previous versions, had supported this in a different way, and now it has a newer, more updated support for substance designer materials and the code is just referencing the old way and so what we need to do is double click this error this first one and it's going to take us in visual studio to the lines where the problems are and the first problem child here is this procedural texture which doesn't exist um, anymore in, uh, for the substance designer materials we're going to forward slash forward slash and comment that out and then when we notice our next issue starts on line 268. So I'm going to make, I'm going to bring these brackets down so we can see what's going on here. So this is the problem child area. And I'm going to add even more space. And this is what we need to comment out all of this. So we could just do the forward slash and forward slash, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do a multi-line comment. So we're going to do forward slash and a star. And then we're going to go down here on, and that is on... Oh, what's the problem here? Forward slash and a star. And then we're going to go down here on line 278 and we're going to do a star and a forward slash. And what that's done is from lines, you know, around two, 268, 269 here, it's commenting out all of this all the way down to 278. And that was our problem area. So if we hit save, close this, and we return back, all of our compiler errors are now gone. So now you'll be able to use all of your alloy shaders. And so as proof of concept of that, we will create a sphere. And then we will um, right click in here. We'll create a material. And we will just drag that material onto the sphere. Then we'll go over here and instead of a standard material, we'll now see that we have all of the alloy uh, shaders. So we will just go with the car paint. And uh, this is kind of a neat shader. And we'll go with a, uh, and we'll go with like a light orange. And then we'll go with a deep red, and that does not look right. Hmm. This probably takes some finessing, but that's probably um, beyond the scope of this video. That was the roughness setting. And so there you go. The alloy shaders are working. Of course, this is not pretty because I'm not actually properly uh, tweaking this. But that's how you get your um, alloy shader package to work in Unity 2018. And I hope that's helpful.